Listen out in this clip for when she says the phrase soft girl. I was attracting feminine men who who wanted to take from me rather than allow me to live my soft girl life, which is a, what feminine energy is about. And when I did the work and I started to shift, I'm now in a relationship where I feel so safe and catered to all of the time. I know if I have a problem, my partner's going to come running. And I've never experienced anything like that. Femininity is a luxury and masculinity is a necessity. Did you know that? Like feminine energy is nice. It's good to have like pink and flowers and like nice smelling perfumes. But all that's a luxury. You can only have that after masculinity has made you safe and secure. That's what she was talking about in this clip because typically that masculine energy would come from a man. But recently our culture has been telling women that they don't need men. Take care of yourself, make your own money, be a girl boss. Essentially they're encouraging women to replace men and the role that men played with themselves, with their own masculine energy. But it turns out that women hate that because because they're women. Women don't want to be men and they're finally standing up to all the feminist bullies and reclaiming their own femininity. I don't want to be a girl boss. I don't want to hustle. I simply want to live my life slowly and lay down in a bed of moss with my lover and enjoy the rest of my existence, reading books, creating art and loving myself and the people in my life. Gentlemen, this is the soft girl era, and this may be the moment that we've been waiting for, where finally our contribution and the masculine energy that we provide might finally be appreciated once again. Why is this happening? Is it because society cares about men? People are worried about men's mental health. Women see the pain and struggle that men are going through, and it's evoking lots of compassion. God, no. <laughs> I said that we might be appreciated again. I didn't say it was going to be a miracle. No, the path back to appreciating men and masculine masculinity is not going to come from empathy for men. It's going to come from women's self-interest. Women are always going to prioritize themselves. That's going to remain consistent. But we might be on the verge of women realizing that the best way for them to achieve their goals is through men. So suddenly, to self-interested women who want to maximize their happiness, men are looking useful again. We will have value once more when women's goals change and they no longer want to be this hardcore masculine boss bitch woman. Corporate lady who makes her own money and frees her eggs so she can work 80 hours a week. I mean, yeah, we're not going to have any value then because those women are just imitating men. They don't need more men. But the moment that women want to be women again and they realize that men can help them feel like women again, then suddenly we are appreciated once more. Show me an alpha man that is in his true alpha, not in his wounded masculine, but his full on masculine. Mm -hmm and watch me become a sweet, soft little girl. Right. I need a man that is fully in his energy, masculine energy, and when a man gives that woman that feeling, that safety, that, that energy, that love, you can mm -hmm. feel it. Then a woman deassembles her masculine energy and she falls into her feminine and she becomes a child with that man. Oh man, oh, this is so funny. So wait, Alexander, are you saying that there are women out there who want to drop the whole being masculine thing? They want to be women again? They want to embrace their femininity? Yes, there's this new trend out there, apparently. It's called being a soft girl, women entering their soft girl era. My mum actually told me about this. Thanks for the heads up, mum. But I did my own research and I discovered this is absolutely a real thing. There is this movement of women who are embracing traditional gender roles, embracing their femininity. They're giving up all of the grind and the hustle and they're becoming what they call soft girls. And it's like this total female empowerment thing. So what exactly is a soft girl? How do you define that? Well, I'll let this woman explain. Um, soft life is femininity. It's um, allowing yourself to exude that, um, to be ladylike, to be comfortable in your own skin, to know that you don't have to be all hard all the time. This is an excerpt from a Glamour article that I read about the soft girl era. This is what it says. The soft girl doesn't value the grind or getting ahead. She prioritizes slow living. Her days are filled with a nearly obsessive focus on self-care, from making the perfect morning smoothie to tending to her skin and trading in hardcore HIIT workouts for a leisurely cozy cardio. Long term, the soft girl dreams of making dinner for her husband and, if she's got them, staying at home with her kids. 
She's not interested in making partner or founding her own company. She's in touch with her feminine energy, her menstrual cycle, and her moods. Check out this clip that I found. It's called Soft Girl Morning. TikTok is filled with videos of women living this soft girl lifestyle, and they're popular. They've got heaps of views. It's just women doing girly shit, like making tea and arranging flowers. They're wearing lots of pink, and this content is popular with women because it's actually speaking to their femininity. Reading again from that article, I think many women are becoming more in tune with their natural desires, embracing their femininity and choosing to build a more simple life, recognizing the beauty in traditional values, she says. Family-based life allows for simplicity, focus, less stress, and a reclaiming of time. Okay, fellas, let's huddle in for a second, all right? right? We're going to talk strategy. We like femininity, right? Like, we like it when women are being women. We think it's in a woman's best interest to act like a woman and be feminine. And you guys, like, who've subscribed to our channel for years, you know that this is what I've been saying. But here's the thing. When I say it, I sound patronizing. Because I'm a man, the message can't come from me because I sound sexist or domineering or controlling or something. When I say, like, women should be women and, and men should be men, women hear that coming from me and they're like, this guy doesn't have my best interest at heart. He's just some, some patriarch who wants to put me back in the kitchen. But this soft girl era thing is so funny to me because like the exact same message when it's coming from women, it sounds like this new concept, like this new idea. It sounds fresh and exciting. It's like an expression of female empowerment. Everyone's going to hate me for saying this because I strongly believe in the masculine and feminine dynamic. Women are here to be women. Our physiology is such. It doesn't mean we need to be locked up in, a, in, in the house and not allowed to do anything or say anything. No, that's not what I mean by being feminine. We spiritually take care of men. And men, when they're in the protector provider space, they also thrive. Okay. <laughs> okay. Talking strategy, if, if you have women in your life, like really hardcore, like feminist women, and they start showing you clips like this, and they start talking about like, hey, I think I might want to adopt this soft girl lifestyle. Do not say anything along the lines of, I've been saying this for years. You keep your mouth shut. You say, hmm, that's an interesting idea, or what a fresh way of looking at things. How intriguing. Soon she might start saying things like, you know, encouraging women to act like men, just forcing them to like grind and hustle, that actually seems kind of exploitative and sexist. It's kind of denying, you know, feminine women's true value, their true gifts. She starts saying stuff like that still. You you keep your mouth shut. That huge, I told you so, I've been saying this, that's screaming in your brain, you keep that to yourself. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding around. But I do find this really funny that what was like common sense in every single culture that men and women are different they should have their own roles like that's just what everyone's known for the longest time and no feminists completely rejected it women thought that was nonsense but then suddenly those same ideas are getting like this rebrand on tiktok and it's like oh this fresh exciting new idea and they're all like yeah that's great this is this is amazing suddenly being more traditional is like cool and trendy whatever i'm fine with it call it soft girl era i don't care i'll take it i'll take any victory like this you can call it whatever you want <laughs> <laughs> but honestly, I think I think that trends like this, this is a positive sign. We're going in the direction of sanity once more. And if women are leading the march, then it's going to be very difficult to stop. Because remember, one of the core tenets of modern feminism is that we have to support women making whatever choices they're making because they're women. Now, recently, the focus of that has been encouraging women to become CEOs, to be like girl bosses or OnlyFans models. It's like, oh, we can't, can't criticize those women for those choices because they're women. And the fact that the woman's making the choice, that makes it empowerment, that makes it feminism. But now, that same blanket approval of anything a woman does is automatically good and feminism, we can now turn that on its head and we can say, hey, this can be used to speed up the trend back towards women embracing their femininity. That's amazing. That's empowerment. That's feminism. Of course, there's going to be some really hardcore like feminist women like this is going back to the patriarchy, these tr traditional gender roles. It's what we, we moved, you know, away from. But they're going to need to be very, very careful because if this is what women want, if they're too vocal in those criticisms, they're going to risk not looking like an ally. 
Like, hey, you're a feminist, right? You wouldn't be criticizing these women's choices, would you? She wants to raise children. She wants to love her man and devote herself to him. That's her choice. You don't criticize that. This really could be massive because I'm so confident that one of the reasons why women have drifted so far from their own femininity and traditional values is because of the intense social stigma that modern feminism has placed on that kind of lifestyle. And women are terrified of upsetting the group. You know, the power of social conformity looms very large in the female psyche. But I truly believe that deep down, women want to be women. They want to be feminine. And so if you relax that social stigma just a little bit, I think that there could be a huge avalanche of women coming back to sanity. A lot of these women never wanted to hustle. They never wanted to grind. They never wanted to pretend that they were women. They did so because they thought that that was what was expected of them and from a socially conformist point of view, or because life circumstances were really brutal. You know, they grew up poor. They had to hustle in order to make it out of that, but they didn't want that. That's just shitty life circumstances. If they meet a great man who can provide that masculinity and then facilitate that soft girl lifestyle, they're going to leap at that chance. Like the interesting thing Thing about that is like you so like you so much of a hustler a go-getter yeah. you know what i'm saying like you say that you want to eventually live a soft girl life it kind of threw me back a little bit like i told you then it's just like i have been hustling my entire life mm. like anything that i have in my life anything that i have obtained in my life it did not come to me easily mm. I didn't fall in my lap, mm. I didn't inherit it, mm. I didn't get it from my parents, and I'm not just talking about monetary things, yeah, I'm talking yeah, yeah. about yeah. my peace. As a child, I didn't have an easy childhood, I had to survive through that too. Mm. And that's not to say like, oh, woe is me, and yeah, why me? Yeah. No, I'm not asking why, I know why me. Mm. I'm in my 30s, yeah. 20 years of me in survival mode. Mm. I don't want to be in survival mode no more. Mm. I want to be in my soft, I'm protected. Yeah, and that's yeah, how yeah. I feel. Yeah. You, you do give me that. I honestly, I, I find that a beautiful thing. She says, I want to be a soft girl. I want to be protected. I want to be secure. I don't want to be in survival mode. And you do give me that. I kind of feel like we can judge the success of our society and the competence of our collective masculinity by the degree to which we allow women to live feminine lives. And this poor woman, obviously her parents failed to make her feel safe. She had to be masculine to provide for herself. But she never wanted to do that. She wanted to live a soft, feminine lifestyle because she's a woman. But it wasn't until her husband turns up and actually provides that masculine energy that she can finally relax and feel safe. Now I'm going to get a little bit more serious here because this is the part that men need to listen to. So pay attention. If women are collectively going to be doing their part, they're going to become more feminine and enter into their soft girl era, then you need to make sure that you're doing your part too. You need to make sure that you have cultivated your masculinity. Remember what I said at the start of this video, femininity is a luxury. Masculinity is a necessity. If you want your girlfriend or your wife to be a feminine woman, then you have to be on top of shit. A woman is not going to submit to a man and become soft unless she is confident in his masculinity. That means he has self-esteem, he has goals, he has values, he has courage in his convictions, his mental health is sorted out. That's a big one. She cannot surrender to you unless she is confident that you're going to be able to handle the masculine side of life. We saw lots of examples of that in my course. You see, a lot of men think that they want a feminine woman, but actually what they want is a mother. Now the mother is a bizarre combination of feminine and masculine because she's soft and nurturing in some ways, but she also takes care of you and you're kind of dependent upon her. It's weird. It's always codependent and messy when a man wants his girlfriend to be his mother. And if you want her to live a soft girl lifestyle, I'm telling you, that's not going to work. If you're fantasizing about a woman who has a good job, she works nine to five and she contributes all of her income to the house. But after getting home from her career, she also is like a perfect housewife and mother. She cleans the house. She cooks all the meals. She's taking care of all of the children. If you think you can have both of those things, then Sorry to say, you're a moron. Women can't do both and they shouldn't be expected to. It's just like you. If you're providing the masculine role in the house, you work really, really hard. You bring home a really solid income, but you work five days a week and you're exhausted. And if you get home and your wife expects you to do half of all of the household tasks, the cooking, the cleaning, the raising the children, even though she's a stay-at-home mother, you're like, no, that makes no sense. That's not an equal contribution. I've done my part. You need to do your part. It's the exact same thing here 
idea in reverse. If you want her to be in her feminine and fulfill the womanly duties in your family and relationship, then you need to let her relax out of those masculine responsibilities. So ask yourself this, are you actually ready? This comes up in my Hey Hero requests all the time. Is your masculinity adequately developed? Are you a high quality adult man? Have you cultivated your masculinity to the degree that you're going to need to if you're going to be able to handle a soft girl? Because let me tell you, while the feminine energy is nice, being with a soft girl is going to bring with it a whole bunch of new problems. Let's talk about the downside about having a soft life. I literally have no worries at all. I never even knew it was possible to live this soft of a life. But because of this, because I'm used to having no problems or inconveniences, I have lost a lot of my tolerance. So what do I mean by this? I can be going about my day and then I will get the wrong DoorDash order and I will want to cry. <laughs> like the smallest problem will feel like a huge problem because I'm just not used to problems. Okay, so like she's a little bit extreme. I personally wouldn't be attracted to a woman who is this much in her feminine that, to the point where she's just like mush. I need some masculinity in my partner because I'm attracted to competence and I think that it's important in motherhood. But I wanted to show that clip to demonstrate to men what they're potentially in for if they want to be in a relationship with a soft girl. In order for her to be in her femininity, she's given up a lot of her practical masculine life skills. She's dropped all that away. She's disassembled her masculine and she's expecting you to step up. While researching this, I found some TikToks with like soft girls saying, in order to be more feminine, I just stopped giving advice and I stopped worrying about other people's problems or even my own. I stopped paying attention to the problems of the world. When people ask my opinion on things, I just got comfortable saying, I don't know. And they're happy to make this change. They don't want to feel guilty. They don't want to feel like they have to form an opinion about everything. That's too masculine. That's too analytical. They just want to let go of that and be be a soft girl. Now, I personally don't want that from my partner because as feminine as she is, she's still smart. I love our discussions. It's a big part of what I enjoy in my relationship is talking with her. But I can understand where the soft girls are coming from. Focusing on solving other people's problems and constantly hearing about the issues in the world and having to form opinions, that's going to be exhausting. That's going to drag down her feminine energy. And so it makes sense that a lot of these women just want to let go of that. So every woman's going to exist somewhere on the spectrum, right? Like some women are going to want total femininity. Others are going to be, you know, somewhere more in between. As a man, you need to have clarity on what it is that you want in a partner. What, what can you handle in your life? You have complete freedom to choose a girl that aligns with the amount of femininity that you want in your life. You're free to make that choice. You just need to know what you're signing up for and to be sure that you're competent to be able to handle it. Maybe you're a bit of a feminine guy and you want a woman who has a little bit of masculinity and you like the idea of like, you know, a mutual kind a partnership, but just leans a little bit more traditional. And that's what sounds good to you. Maybe you like the idea of total traditional, like, no, I want to be a man's man and I want her to be a woman's woman. Either one is fine and anything in between. The only thing that I'm saying, I reiterate once again, is that if you're attracted to that really feminine energy, you have to make sure that you can handle the masculine side of life. Do not expect her to do both. That's completely unreasonable. You want her to be a woman, then you've got to be a man. Now, of course, one of the biggest issues that a lot of men face is that when they step up into their masculine and they try and be a leader, the woman in the relationship completely resists this. She challenges him. She fights him for that leadership. That completely sucks. What are you meant to do if a woman won't let go of control? Would you prefer a masculine man or a submissive man? That's a good question. <laughs> I want masculine, but also I want him to submit, but only to me. Submit in what way? What do you mean? Like take care of me, do what I say okay. when I say. What a ridiculous ridiculous woman. I want a dominant man, but he needs to do what I say when I say. Unfortunately, I have seen this many times when you've got a man who is capable of being a leader. He is masculine. He's ready to step up. And his girlfriend thinks that she wants to be feminine. That's what she thinks she wants, but she can't let go of the control. It scares her too much. And so she fights with him and it inevitably ends the relationship. How do you solve this? What is the solution to this problem? If this describes your dynamic, that you want to be more masculine, but you're 
your girlfriend is not letting you take on that role, what are you meant to do? I give a complete guide for how to get out of that mess in the full version of this video, which is available on Patreon. If this is an issue you're experiencing in your relationship and you want my help, check out this Patreon video. What I post here on YouTube, these are just shortened, abridged versions of my videos. If you want to see the full uncut versions, come over to Patreon.